guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you so much for coming back. If you're not already subscribed, click the sub button. And also, if you press the notification bell, you'll be notified when any of my new videos come up. I've got to say, if you're an autumnal person, there's going to be loads of autumn hauls and crafts coming your way. I've been stocking up on autumn craft stuff and I am ready. Um, I've done a little video of a pound man upcycle last week, but trust me, the wreaths are coming in, the garlands are gonna be all out decorating. So if you wanna keep up with that, then definitely hit the notification bell. So grab yourself a nice cup of tea and some snacks. Mine is a water, because I've got baby giving me terrible heartburn at the moment, and so I just got water in my Rosie Flow Everbridge water mug, which will Hopefully make me feel a little bit better. <laughs> um, so today's video is a home bargains haul. I got some amazing finds um, and I want to share it. I've literally been this morning and I am filming it now because I want to, and I'm going to upload it straight away as well because I want you to get these bits because they're amazing and these will sell out so fast because they're so cheap. So I'm going to get on with my most favourite items so I'm going to show you first. Um, so the first thing that I picked up was this glass pumpkin jar. Now I've seen these on some really expensive homeware um, stores. These were three ninety nine. I know you have me right. Three ninety nine. Um, so I actually picked up two of these. One for me and one for my friends. Um, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Now, by all means, you could put paint in this, you could spray paint these, or you could spray the inside, making it more durable, and then you'd end up with like a glass looking pumpkin. I'm gonna fill this with loads of sweeties, or maybe some nice marshmallows on the side for when we're having hot chocolates, because as we know, it's gonna be hot chocolate season, like in full swing. Three ninety nine. I could not believe the price of that. Like, that is just unbelievable. The minimum I've seen them for is about 10 pound, but they're like this size. Um, so that size, they're about 30 pound. Like they're just ridiculously char like charging a lot of money. And it just goes to show you, 3 99 from Home Bargains, <laughs> That's my favorite piece. So like I said, I've got two of those. But if you want something a little bit more autumnal with the burnt oranges, they have this for 4.99 in ceramic, which is just absolutely gorgeous. So they've got this pumpkin jar. How gorgeous is this? It's a lovely bright orange and it's got the brown stem. I'm gonna be honest, I'll probably use a little bit of rub and buff on this and make the stem into a gold stem instead. Because um, it is a bit of a like a bit of a naff brown. It isn't a naff brown. It doesn't look naff altogether. But I just think the orange will go a little bit more in my colour scheme. It's absolutely beautiful. It's really big actually. Um, and this was four ninety nine. So this is just going to be beautiful. I might pop this inside my porch um, and put some of the trick or treat sweets in there for when we get the trick or treaters. I thought that was really cute. Gary's smiling in the background, he's laughing at me. He's, he's currently clearing away toys. I've got him so well trained. He's clearing, he's gonna say hi, gal. <laughs> hi. No? Oh, I'm having a lie like you're not there. Um, I also picked up while I was in there for 3 99 this. Now this is very much, I think Mrs. Hinch had this when she had her first. I'm pretty sure I see this. Um, my hand might have been from eBay. This is his felt storage caddy. Now this was 3 99 and the width dimensions of this is 33 centimeters by 23 and 18 depth. Now what I've got this for is I'm not gonna have this for nappies and stuff. I think that, oh, you can put the little velvet bits inside to make different size compartments. And um, the reason I've got this and it's got all pockets on the sides is I think she had hers for nappies and wipes and stuff in each of the rooms for when baby was there to make it really nice and easy. They're very, very nice. You could use these for crafts or anything you want. And um, the reason I've bought this, I'm gonna see if I can quickly do it. They've got like little Velcro tags. <laughs> I'm gonna make it look really difficult now. Oh, right. So that side goes to that side. That side goes to that side. I might as well show you the dynamic of it. And then you pop this one in. It's good because you can fold these down. So if you need storage that you can fold away, like if you're going to do a craft, say in the autumn, and in the summer you don't do as much knitting or something, who are we kidding? If you're a knitter, you're a knitter. Um, but you can get your different compartments and it's really good because it folds small, like I say, all the pockets. 3 99 This is going in the bottom of Baby's wardrobe. I'm going to bring you an update. His nursery's been painted. I'm just so excited. We're just waiting for the cot to come now. Um, so yeah, so in this section, I'm just gonna have some of these muslins, some of these bibs, and some of these like mittens in one of them, and then maybe 
just little extras and stuff. But I thought this was really, really good because then you section it out, it doesn't take too much space. Um, so I got that as well for $3.99. But like I say, you can use that for anything. You can even put them in your kitchen cupboards for like sponges and cleaning stuff, whatever you wanna do. So next thing I picked up is I thought, how can I not pick this up? Now I know this is a bit out of my color scheme, um, but this is a cotton throw. Now this is huge. Now this is 130 centimeters by 180. And it's got all of these lovely tassels and that on the bottom. It's in this really lovely rust, like a burnt orange. Now, you're going to be so surprised because of quality. If you look at the texture of it, it's just a lovely cotton um, that you throw. This was $3.99 in Home Bargains. I couldn't believe it. They've got them in like a, I'd say like a, a silvery grey, a bit similar to the basket I've just showed you. And they also have it in cream. So I picked this one up because I thought over the arm of the sofa, it's going to add a little bit of an autumnal feel and a little warm. And we love having a blanket. Like in this house, we've got loads of baskets full of blankets. And I find the most autumnal thing is just having loads of blankets either over the sofa or in a basket ready for you to sort of like snuggle up. Um, so I've got this one for $3.99. This one's kind of kid safe as well with the colour. And I've also picked up in the cream. Um, it looks a little bit more of a yellowy cream on the camera, but as you can see, it's quite a whitey cream. It's quite light. Um, and this is the same size yet again, $3.99. This is actually going to be going over the seat of my sofa when the children are on the new sofa. <laughs> that has been a right palaver. The sofa got delivered, guys, and they didn't bother to deliver the legs. So we've got a sofa with no legs that's currently just sat there, but worse things have happened. So at the moment, with what's going on at the moment, that is like the least of our problems. Um, so we're waiting a couple of days and that should come. But I thought when the children are wanting to snuggle up with snacks, this will be getting thrown over the sofa just as a precautionary. Um, yeah, so free night nine for that one as well. The next thing I picked up, oh, how can I forgot to show you this? Because this is a pumpkin theme as well. So they've got pumpkin bowls and cups in there. Um, they're all shaped like this. So the cup is basically a little bit more rounded with a handle. The reason I didn't pick them up is because the only colour they had left was black. Um, and we all know I don't really decorate Halloween-y, very dark blacks and purples and greens. It's more like, don't mind a little bit of orange and rust, but it's mostly like golds and whites. Um, I like more more aesthetically pleasing, sort of like, I like the aesthetic of it. Um, but I thought this was really cute. So they only had one bowl in the white. So I picked this up. Now the bowls are $1.99 and so are the mugs, they're $1.99. I'm pretty sure they've got a few of them on their Instagram that you can see um, pictures of people finding them um, of the mugs if you wanna have a look before you trot down there to get down. Um, but if they have more come into my store and I manage to get some, cause I know things like this just are like gold dust, they go so quick. Um, if I do, then I'll get a few more for the children and they'll be really cute and they'll go with all my pumpkin wear that I got from next last year. If they don't, then I might just put a little faux plant in this and have this or just have like, you know, like little condiments or snacks on the table as well as my other pumpkin dishes. But $1.99, I thought that was really cute and they've also got the cups and they come in, like I said, I think I said it, white, orange and black. So I also picked up, <laughs> you're gonna be not rosy. It is the last day of August and you're showing us stuff for Halloween. I can't help it. So I know I get away with it a lot of the time because I decorate for autumn. So autumn starts in September, so it's okay. I get away with having autumnal decor. But when I'm showing you Halloween bits, it's not as easy to get away with. But it's in the shops at the moment and actually they're selling out so quickly because I think people realize from the years gone by, they put it out early and you think, no, it's way too early. I'm not buying into the whole thing. By the time Halloween comes, my kids are wearing two sizes, two small Halloween costumes that they've worn for the last two years running because I've left it to the last minute or whatever. So I thought I'd pick these up. Um, so this is pin the ears on the back. This is a little game. I always get these at Christmas time and Easter. They always have like festive season ones. These are 79p um, and they're really, really good. So they've pin the ears on the vampire and when you get a little back mask to wear. These are really good. I always put these up for them. They sort of spin them around with the little mask on and they pin it up. It's a little Halloween game that they can play. And I always just pop these into their like little hampers. And um, they had, I think a pumpkin version of this. They've got loads of crafts. They vary from like 69p to 99p. And they have like things that they can make. So like DIY um, Halloween bunting, DIY make your own pumpkin mask. Loads of cute little things that they can do in there. But pick that one up, 79p. 
I think the children have run off with the other two. I oh, know they haven't. So this one was 99p. So these, you get 200 of these. Um, so they're pumpkin pattern. And they've got like little witchy hands and spider webs. All the different halloween -y colours. These were 99p and you get 200 in here. So what I normally do with these as well, yet again, Christmas time and Easter, I always buy these. Kids love making paper chains, hang them in their bedroom when they get carried away. It just makes it feel more... I like the seasons when they have these sort of events like Valentine's, Halloween, Christmas, Easter, because it's just something special for the children to look forward to and I love getting completely involved in it. Um, so these are 99p and I will split these up and I will pop them, tie them up with a little bit of jute twine, pop them in their little Halloween hampers. I am going to be showing you what I'm going to be popping in their Halloween hampers and I'm going to be doing some DIY ones like DIY hampers. Um, these are 99p, so these are really good to pop in there because sometimes you get a bit stuck and you end up just putting too many sweets. And I don't like the kids having just ridiculous amounts of sweets, so having something to do as well is really good. So on the subject of sweets, I picked up these because these ran out again last year, so I bought them. The children ate them before Halloween, <laughs> before they got their hampers, and then actually... I couldn't get them again. Um, so these are the little chocolate coins and these are really, really good. So they've got like pictures of pumpkins on them, spiders, really lovely colors. These would actually look really cute in the little glass see-through jar. Um, so these were, I think these were 69p, where have I put my receipt? These were either 69 or 79p for these. Um, and you get, how many chocolate coins do you get? It doesn't say, but there's 100 grams in there. There's quite a few, so I've got three packets, one for each of the children. And they are going to be popped away. They're not going to be out just yet. They will come out at Halloween. I'm really quite strict with the Halloween thing. So I go all out with the seasons beforehand. But Halloween will officially start on the 31st of October. Because this year I think it will have to anyway. Because I think baby will be here. And um, so we'll be in the newborn bubble. But also Archie's birthday is the 22nd of October. So I kind of like to get his birthday out of the way, make him feel super special. Having a few cream pumpkins in the background, just as decor, that's just typical mum. Um, but having like full on skeletons and stuff like that, I like to do that after, for the children, once Archie's birthday's on. Um, so I also picked up a toy for Bertie, he's run off with it, he's actually, he saw it in back, and he's like, at me, so I've let him have it. There were some really good toys in it. It's like a little autumnal hedgehog with like a the spikes on it, a hard rubber, but he's run off with it, guys. He's company in the garden playing with it. Um, so I picked some up for him. They was $1.99 on the toys in there, and um, the little autumnal looking ones. Um, I picked up some gravy bones for the dogs, 500 grams, 99p. I just stick them in his jar. He loves these, but he's been a good boy. He, well, even when he's been a little rascal, he still gets his little ones. Um, so I've got those. Millie's bedroom is done, so that reveal is pending. I say it's done. The IKEA delivery, which has the cotton stuff in it, should have been here last week. We've not been great with deliveries at the moment, but I think everyone's having problems with deliveries. Um, so basically, what happened is, is they just didn't turn up. And we've meant to have a cot with a cot mattress and also Millie's mattress for a new double bed, which I got off eBay. It's such a bargain. Brand new from a shop on there, so I'll go through and show you everything um, when I do a tour. But her mattress hasn't come, so she's got a single mattress on a double bed, <laughs> just so that she can be in a new room. So once her mattress comes, I'm going to make up her bed, and then I'll do a little tour. Um, but this was only $9.99 for a double um, quilt cover set, lovely pink gingham. So she's going to have a few different sets up there, because she's got different colours. It's quite a teenage style vibe room. She's got loads of pastel colours in there, and like some monochrome bits, so... I just thought it was a nice extra set, $9.99, and I thought that was really good. And she had this in a single and it washed up amazing. So I got that from there as well. I also picked up for another 99 p This is gonna be in the cupboard now, as we're getting all like the lovely latte spices. I don't drink coffee, but I put these in the hot chocolate, and when people come around, I'll make them like a pumpkin spice latte with cinnamon or put the syrups in. So these are the natural flavoring, and um, these are splendid syrups. They're sugar free, suitable for vegans, and this is a toffee caramel flavour. These are only 99p, they're the smaller ones, they're the 250ml. Um, so I picked up this one to put in the cupboard for when people come over. And then lastly, I picked up some quite boring bits really, but I'll show you anyway. So because I do a lot of DIY wrapping at Christmas with on brown paper, I found some nice wooden stamps and they're in the craft section. And they're all alphabet letters and they've also got the 
ampersand, you see this ampersand sign on it, like the and sign, like the fancy and, a star, an exclamation and a heart. Um, and these were 99p. So I got these and I've got, already got ink anyway um, and I can print their names onto the wrapping paper. I picked up some glue. <laughs> the reason I'm showing you this is part of my PVC on the front of my porch, like, you know, around the edge of the door you get. It come away and I was like, oh my God, that looks atrocious. And I've done that yesterday. So I thought I need to get some glue. I used this and it's actually movable, but this really solid when it dries. And do you know what? I got it on my hands and I didn't get that typical, you know, when you stick your fingers together with super glue. So you get a lot of this and this was only not in place. This might be my new favorite crafting thing. The only reason I'm showing you is because I know a lot of people that do crafts watch this <laughs> kind of horse with me because all, we all love like holes and crafts. So I thought I'll show you. You'll appreciate a good glue when you see one. Um, so <laughs> I thought I'd show you that one. And then lastly, for one ninety nine, I picked up a face massager made with bamboo. So I'm getting a lot of like um, puffiness in my face. It's both my midwife. It's not nothing worrying. It's just I'm retaining quite a bit of water. So it's got lovely soft rubber bristles on it, a little bamboo wooden roller. But these would be good to make little spa type hampers and stuff come Christmas or birthdays. And um, so. I'll be uh, getting some of the water retention off my face. So this has been my little haul, guys. Um, the reason a little haul is quite a, quite a big haul. My friend will be so happy that I've done the haul as well because we're going to go see her now as well so I can give her a pumpkin. Um, but hopefully you've enjoyed this haul, guys. And take care. I've been Rosie Henshaw. See you later. Bye.